thought I'd make a video, well, a tutorial more on how to get the Hylian Shield. It's pretty difficult, but um, I already have it, so I guess I'm just going to walk you guys through it. Let's get the Master Sword, and there it is. It looks awesome. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to head over to Hyrule Castle. Obviously, it's raining. It might not be in your game, so... You want to be pretty careful and make sure it's not raining when you do it because there's a lot of climbing involved. So, to speed this up a bit, I'm going to teleport somewhere close to Hyrule Castle and yeah. Let's go to, so you want to, if you have it, then you're going to make your way to the central tower. Alright guys, so here you can see that we're at Central Tower, so just keep making your way down. To speed this up as well, I'm going to do a running glitch. Well, it's not really a glitch, but it's something that makes you run faster without losing any stamina. So. <laughs> if you really want to know how to do this, you want to hold your Joy-Con down and you're going to want to repeatedly press the B button while holding the button to call your horse. And it will deplete any stamina and you can do it as long as you want. I'm pretty sure you can even do it climbing, but I'm not for sure. So, alright, let's see. So, I'm going to change to a different shield just in case. I don't want to break this one. <laughs> So we're almost here, and just to speed it up again, I'm going to teleport. So you're going to want to make your way towards the back of Hyrule Castle. So as you can see on my map, here is the Sacred Ground Ruin. So you're going to want to go, okay, yeah, this is where Hyrule Castle is. So you're going to want to make your way to this shrine, or if you don't have it, just start making your way across. to the shrine and now we're just gonna I'm pretty sure it is up here and since it's raining I have the advantage to the rain so I'm just gonna use this. Uh, there we go. Right over these rocks. Can't climb anyway. Okay so Hyrule Castle is there it is. Alright. So just make your way to Hyrule Castle. This is probably the closest place you can get there is a shrine inside Hyrule Castle, but I'm not going to use that because then it would deplete everything that I make this video for because it would only take about five minutes. Plus, you guys need to know where the shrine is so you can teleport inside and out of Hyrule Castle. Alright, so once again, we're just going to do the running trick. Escape away from these guys. This is really useful, especially when you're making videos, so you don't just want to... Oh, uh, keep on wasting your stamina gauge, so. Alright. We are almost there. So, I'm pretty sure once you make it closer, it'll actually show a map of Hyrule Castle. And, I don't know, uh, if we can, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can swim this. So you can try. I'm pretty sure you could, but you'd have to be pretty fast at it. So you might want to get a uh, jump from up there, but since I have this, I'm just going to use it again to make this faster. Okay, so we are coming up on Hyrule Castle. I'm going to get you guys a glimpse of the map so I can show you where we are heading for. Alright, so there are some air guardians over here, so you want to make, uh, make sure you watch out for them, because... Pain. Oh. <laughs> you have little control when you're doing it like this. Alright. Let's see, there's Hyrule Castle. So, just make your way over there. And since it isn't raining, we can climb now. If you guys were wondering how to get the green tunic, I will make a video on that uh, tomorrow. So, be sure to look out for that. Uh, 
Okay. So you gotta be very cautious. If you want to buy one while you're over here, I thought I was gonna die right there. Oh, look at that. I can take as many hits as these as I want. There we go. So we're making it close. So you gotta make sure you're fairly well equipped once again, because obviously it is one of the very end parts of the game. There it is right there. So as you can see, there's a lot of swimming and climbing, so you're gonna make sure you have maybe uh, I know that there's climbing bandanas, so you can use those. I have a climbing shirt actually, so So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to teleport to that shrine I was talking about inside Ganon's castle. It is over here. So right here, just so I can point it out, there are the docks. I will show you because once you teleport to this place, it'll actually show the map, so I'll show you where you're going to want to go. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to teleport here to make it faster. Alright, so we are here, and this is inside the underground. So we're not actually inside the real castle right now. So you're just going to want to make your way outside if you do have this shrine. If you don't, that's fine. I'll just say I'm going to the outside. if you don't have it, because where we're going is basically, let's do this one, okay, so, alright, here we go, so this is where the docks are at, so I'm going to show you on my map, so once you get to Hyrule Castle, it'll show a map, I'm going to show you where this is, so there we are, right down there, if you can see it, it's right there, so it's pretty small, but there'll be a gap, and that little area where you know that you can go through. And it's where the yellow thing is where I'm at, just in case you needed another pointer. So I'm just going to go out and show you guys how to get it from here. Okay, so you can swim this way, like I said, from out here. Or if you have uh, the wind trick I showed you, then you can just use that. Alright, so you're going to make your way over here. Gavali's Gale is now ready. So, just to make this quicker, let's see. Alright guys, I had to finish the garden to the right off screen just to save time. So, once again, I'm just going to show you on the map. You can take a picture with your phone or something just so you remember it. Right there, that little area. Okay, so you just want to go straight through this. Make sure you're super equipped with good weapons because there are some very powerful enemies in here. You're just going to want to use your Cryonis to get this open. Alright, so the first time I did this, I decided to fight all of them, but you don't need to. Let's see. Shoot straight right here. Alright, so to the right of me, these guys have some pretty powerful weapons, so if you do want to take some time, knock them out. It's your choice. So, let's take this one out. Okay, so, just come down here. This one right here. So, you're going to want to go in. Make sure you're equipped. Alright, let's do this. So, as you walk in, the door's closed. And here we go. I know I've seen him in some other areas throughout the game, so he's not new. He's not as strong as other ones, actually. He's pretty weak. There you go. So once he falls to the ground, you shoot him out right in. For the purpose 
of this, I'm just gonna use some of this. So people constantly just throw these at you. Pick it back up. You only have to do this twice if you can get a lot of damage out of it the first time. You don't necessarily need arrows to take this down, but it is very hard. Let's see. Let's Alright. So that should take out the last part of the eye. And there we go. Fall down, and he actually has some fantastic weapons that you can take from him. Alright, so he's got the, uh, let's see, Royal Halper, so I don't need that, so I'm going to take the Great Thunderblade instead, and I think that is just a bit worse than the Great Flame Blade, so I'm going to keep that. So, after he dies, there should be a chest that pops up out of the ground, and it has this inside of it. That's all you need to do to get it, guys. And right here it says, The test of the royal guard. Strike down the giant foe to become recognized as a knight of the kingdom. So that's really all that you need to get the Hylian shield.